What's up, Air Gunners? This is a follow-up to the teaser video I dropped a few days ago. No, you're not seeing double-double. I do have two high-pressure air compressors. This unit I won from the raffle at Extreme Benchrest in 2015. And this unit I also won from the raffle at Extreme Benchrest, but in 2022. Now, they might look similar from this angle, and they do share a lot of the same technology, but um, they are wildly different machines. This is a 220 volt single phase beast, while this is a 115 volt low consumption unit. Um, let me grab the camera and we'll do a quick uh, visual, and then we will use this 100 cubic inch tank and do some quick tests. So starting with this new unit, obviously this is a Daystate branded compressor, originally made by Coltree. It's called the MC3. Has some nice safety features. Um, nice big cooling fan. This is the uh, condensation drain here, manual on this one. Um, intake. Big old gauge, burst disc, oil, and uh, the drivetrain belt. And this is the MCH6. I've owned this unit for, gosh, over eight years now. And all I've done is change the air filter, change the oil, and actually I had to replace an O-ring inside this adapter here. Aside from that, it has been just chugging along like a freight train. Um, this also has a couple extra features. It does have, uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, uh, auto pressure shut off, as well as um, auto um, condensation drain. So, what we're gonna do is, first we're going to just fire them both up so you can audibly hear the difference. And then we'll move on to filling uh, the 100 cubic inch tank. First I'll start the MCH3 since it should be quite a bit quieter than the MCH6. Now all I've done to this unit so far is um, fill it with oil, run it for 30 seconds, uh, shut it off for five minutes and make sure the oil level was properly there, which it is. So let's see what the MCH3 sounds like. 115 volt, single phase. And that will be able to hear the 220 volt over 150. I'd say it's quite a bit louder. So I have drained this um, 100 cubic inch tank down to 150 bar. I figure most PCP air guns um, operate between 150 and 300 bar. So we're gonna fill from 150 to 300 bar and see how long it takes us. So that took two minutes and 33 seconds 
uh, to fill this 100 cubic inch from 150 bar to 300 bar. Now, this is my unit I've been using forever, so I do have some built-in drains, but it can still be a little bit loud still. It's nice I have that vented outside my garage, so if the garage door is closed, it goes right out. All right, I drained this 100 cubic inch tank down to 150 bar and I let it sit for, gosh, I don't know, 10 minutes now, just to equalize and cool off and everything. I've reconnected it to the new low consumption MCH3, and uh, let's see how long it takes to fill up to 300 bar. Obviously what we're going to do is wait until the pressure equalizes uh, 150 bar in the line before I open this up because you don't want uh, too much reverse pressure trying to push back into there. It's surprising how I can talk over the 115 volt unit and not have to worry about any ear protection or anything. have reached 300 bar. Woohoo! Alright. Let me just blow this off here. I don't have a hose connected outside, so it will be a little loud. I just did some quick calculations, and um, to fill this 100 cubic inch bottle from 150 bar to 300 bar, the MCH6 did it in two and a half minutes, while the MCH3 did it in just over seven minutes. Now, if you're talking about filling a standard 550 cubic inch bottle, which is five and a half times the size of this, uh, the 220 volt unit will do it in about 14 minutes, while the 115 volt unit will do it in just over 38 minutes. So, what's more important to you? A super fast, super powerful compressor with breathable air and some additional features for about 3,500 bucks, or a low consumption, low noise compressor for about 2,500 bucks. I don't think you can go wrong with either of them. It just depends on what's more important to you. Air.